The vision of our program is to be the best we can be. What that means is, is that we want to produce world-class tennis professionals, we want to win conference championships, and we want to win national championships. And we've been able to make steps in that direction over the past six years, with this past year culminating in our best year in the program history, making the second round of the NCAA tournament and reaching a program high 22 in the nation. The way we go about accomplishing this vision and reaching these goals for us is our, our coaching philosophy, which is our coaching pyramid. Uh, the foundation of that pyramid is called a privilege mentality. Um, and that just speaks to the gratitude in which we want our team and coaching staff to have as we pursue this vision. The second layer of that pyramid is called a growth mindset, which is really just focusing on an effort-based person, somebody who judges themselves based off the effort they put in, not necessarily on the results they get. Because we know that over time, if somebody is constantly putting forth that effort, that the results will take care of themselves. So those lower two sections of the pyramid really talk about the emotional and the attitude aspect of the, of the player. The third layer is our fitness and nutrition layer. And this talks about the physical aspect of just doing everything possible to be in the best shape of, of your life. Uh, we know that tennis is a demanding sport, and so we have our strength and conditioning coaches, our physical trainers, our physical therapists and nutritionists really draw up individual plans so that each player can reach their mac maximum potential in that area. After fitness and nutrition, we get into the fourth layer, and that's where we're just talking about, we call it base game, and that really addresses the fundamentals of our tennis game. We talk about grinding and playing long points and not beating yourself and really being able to work the point long. Uh, we really feel like it's necessary to build that before we build our fifth layer, which is the weapons and more of our aggressive mode tactics. And it's in this fifth layer where we're trying to identify certain strengths each player has that they can really dictate towards their opponents and really take matches away from their opponents. Uh, as we study the best players in the world, we notice that in pressure situations, when the match is on the line, uh, they are taking the match into their own hands. And so that's what this fifth layer really focuses on. And then the last layer we label our momentum management. And it really just addresses keys in a match when a player should be focusing on being patient and grinding or they should be focusing on being aggressive and taking the match. And it really gives them a detailed game plan of when they should be in each mode. So this pyramid, we've seen time and time again, if we can get a player to buy in from the bottom layer up, it's just amazing what can happen in their development.